hey guys welcome back and today we are going to discuss about adb the default uh, android debugging tool that is provided by google with your android sdk and how can we use that tool with unity to test our android uh, application in runtime so uh, in my previous tutorial i showed you that how you can use a simple plugin to uh, kind of uh, debug your application in runtime but in some cases that method might not work for example uh, in my case in this project my uh, application is all right it's running in my local computer but when i try to build it in my android device i don't know why but it's crashing so i want to know that why the application is crashing if i am using that particular plugin then I cannot uh, debug it because that application or that plugin will only work if that uh, if my application or my game that is uh, running in my uh, Android device, right? So if my application is crashing, I have no way to debug that application with the plugin. So to debug your application with ADB what you need to do is uh, running a simple command in your uh, terminal so i am using a mac device um, the windows uh, procedure will be kind of similar uh, you should try it by yourself i think it will work but if it doesn't work let me know i'll try i don't have any windows uh, system of my own but i can try it in my friend's computer okay mm, so let's start so the first thing you need to do is uh, change the directory to this uh, Android platform tools. So in your uh, SDK, there is a folder named platform tools. You'll find a ADB uh, file there. So you need to just drag and drop this platform tool here that will give the directory. So now we have this directory. Great. So now if you go to the uh, Unity uh, website, you'll see that there is in this forum, they discussed all the command you might need. The problem is that when I try to do it like this in my Mac, it doesn't work. It says the ADB command is not found. So I digged a little bit in the internet and I found out that for a Mac device, you need to do this. I don't know why. I don't have any idea about command line. I am really noob here, but this works. So it's waiting for a device. I forgot to connect my device. So now it's waiting for the device. Now, yeah, beginning of crash system. So now it's uh, searching for the particular um, application that is using the Unity system, but nothing in my mobile is currently using that unity system so let's open that unity application here now you see the in the lock cat i can see a lot of messages is going on like there is a lot of information here right so i don't uh, i don't need all this information i just need uh, anything regarding a error i i just i want to minimize this thing so if i go back to that particular link i'll give this link in the description box so that you can run this command by your own so it's saying that if you want a little bit more information you can run this command so this is dalvik dalvik maybe uh, yeah and the vm virtual machine maybe so this will uh, give you all the information um, of the debug right so that is uh, like uh, the the application those are running the unity activity manager those will be popped up not all the information right so again here i can just copy this command from here and paste it here again um in mac you need to do this okay uh, now i'll need an application that will crash so let's build an application here 
I know this has some problems so let's build and run uh, I want to change some setting here okay great now this application will be built and running my computer and when there is the error comes up I'll show you how you can uh, find it in the terminal so I haven't uh, pressed the enter yet I just put it the command here when the application will start running in my uh, device I'll press the enter and then I'll describe that how can we find that particular uh, error so as you can see there is a lot of information here and uh, you can see that in which line of code something is happening for example here is that line right okay yeah my build is successful now the application is running so here I go so in my application I see that the camera is not opening so the problem here as you can see in my code uh, of mono motion manager in line 446 the mono motion SDK is not initialized so now I know that in that particular line there is some error and now I can go and fix it right so that's all from me today if you have any question and if you like this video let me know if you are not uh, understanding anything regarding this particular tutorial also let me know if you have any suggestion of making some other tutorials that also is welcomed let me know everything thank you for watching my video i'll see you in the next class